Navigating GT5 online as a new player can be difficult. With the amount of things you could buy and ways to make money, finding what's best for you isn't easy. Which is why in today's video, I'm going to share with you the five businesses every new player should buy first so that making and spending money is no longer a problem. So with that, let's get into the first business and all of these businesses will be put in order of when I think you should buy them. With the first one being the Kasatka Submarine off the Warstock Cash and Carry website for $2.2 million. And the reason why you're gonna to wanna to buy this is because it allows you to do the KO Perico Heist, which is the number one way to make money as a solo player or as a player in general in GTA 5 Online. The heist on average takes about 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how many times you've done it and how fast you can complete the setups and finale. And with that, you will be paid out anywhere between 1.3 to 1.5 million dollars on average. Now, the way the heist works is simple. You have a few setup missions and then a finale where you're going to the KO Prego Island, taking loot from around it and a primary target within El Rubio's compound before leaving and escaping successfully. It can be relatively complicated at first, but once you've done it a couple times, it is very easy to repeat. And if you need some help with it, I'll leave a link to my guide in the description down below. Now, it is important to mention that there is a two and a half hour cooldown before you could do it again if you're playing it solo, but that is precisely why we have other ways to make money like the ones we're gonna talk about on this list. So that there is the first business you're going to want to buy simply because it is the best way to make money in the entire game. And on top of that, for your first time playing through, because of the primary targets you're guaranteed to get, as well as first time bonuses, you should be able to make over $2 million on your first time playing through, which will allow you to buy the second business, which is the agency. The cheapest agency goes for about $2 million and location does not really matter, but what the agency is good for is it has tons of ways to make tons of money. The first way to make money is through security contracts which pay out between forty dollars and $60,000. They're relatively simple missions that only take about 5-10 to 10 minutes to complete and they have only about a 5 minute cooldown so you can do these quite a bit. And not only that, for every time you complete a security contract, you will actually help out another way to make money with the agency, which is the wall safe. This is completely passive. Each in-game day or 48 minutes, a set amount of money will be deposited into the wall safe. And for every security contract you complete, $100 will be added to that amount. It caps out at $20,000, but it's a great extra way to make money. The third way to make money with the agency is payphone hits. These are unlocked after completing three security contracts. They are simple assassination missions. And if you complete the assassination while also doing a bonus that's given each time, you will earn $85,000. These do have a 48 minute cooldown, but they are very quick and easy, usually taking five to 10 minutes to complete. And finally, the best part of the agency is the Dr. Dre contract, the VIP contract. This is essentially a large heist. You have three mini heists before doing two finale missions that will pay out $1 million. Now, if you're including the money from all the setups and the finale, it's gonna end up being about $1.1 to $1.2 million. But this is a ton of money and a great way to make money in the game. Now, similar to the KO Preco heist, your first time playing through will reward you with a bunch of first time bonuses. So you'll end up making about $1.6 to $1.7 million. And that just so happens to be about the same price as the Sparrow, which is a helicopter you could purchase once you get the Kasaka submarine that does stay in the back of the submarine, making the KO Preco heist a lot faster but also making all of your money grinding a lot easier in the game. So I highly suggest picking that up and getting the missiles on it, which will in total take about $2 million to do. But by this point, if you've completed the KO Preco heist and a Dr. Dre contract with some payphone hits, you should have enough money to afford it. So like I said, the helicopter should make the money grind a lot easier. So I do suggest doing some more KO Preco heist or Dr. Dre contracts, even payphone hits if you'd like. And once you've built up $1 million, the next business to buy is the Acid Lab. 
Now, in order to unlock it, you'll have to complete all of the first dose storyline missions. There are six missions total, each paying out a first time bonus with the first five paying out $50,000 and the finale paying out $250,000. All in, you'll probably end up making 600 to 700,000, which is perfect because the actual asset lab itself, which unlocks for you to buy once completing the final first dose mission, is only $750,000. So go ahead and purchase that. But in order to make this business as efficient as possible, you'll have to get the equipment upgrade as well for an additional 250,000. And in order to do that, you'll have to complete 10 Fooligan missions, which will have unlocked for you after completing the first first dose mission. Now, the way the acid lab works is very simple. This is actually going to be one of your first semi-passive businesses in the game. Essentially, you can purchase or steal supplies. They will be brought back to the acid lab. Mutt at the acid lab will then turn those supplies into product, which you could later on sell for a product through a sell mission. Now, if you have the equipment upgrade for it, I highly suggest purchasing $60,000 worth of supplies from Mutt because after doing that twice and after going through 1.6 batches of supplies, the acid lab will be fully stocked up and you could sell it for $335,000, making you a tidy profit. It will take the acid lab four hours to fill up, so it's a decent amount of money for the time spent. If you wanna make some extra money with the business, I do also suggest selling the product in a public lobby with 25 or more people, because if you do so, you will receive a 50% bonus on the sale, taking that total up to 502,000 instead of the original 335. If you do that, you will net about $400,000 in profit in just four hours time, meaning that you made a relatively passive $100,000 every hour. This is a great business that you could do over and over and over again, and it's why it's so important to have early on. The fourth business to purchase is the auto shop, and this is a two-parter. It's one, because it makes you tons of money, but two, because it's one of the more fun businesses in the game, and here's why. With the auto shop, you're able to do auto shop contracts. There are eight in total, and auto shop contracts are essentially mini heists. You have two setup missions plus a finale. They don't take that long, anywhere between about 20 to 30 minutes, and they pay out a few hundred thousand dollars each time. The best one to do is the union depository contract because at the end of it, you will make about $295,000 but the rest of them are fairly good as well. Now, if you were to do at least two of these contracts every single hour, you could expect to make about $400,000, $450,000. But if you get quick with it, which I have figured a way to do in my time playing, you could fit in three contracts all in an hour. And if you do so, you'll be making about $600,000 per hour. Each of them has about a one hour cooldown, so keep that in mind, but they are a ton of fun and I highly suggest you trying them all out to see which ones you like the most. And with that being said, we are now at the fifth and final business to purchase, which is the nightclub. This is a relatively passive business, once again, similar to the Acid Lab, except this one is a little bit more complex. There are two ways to make money with it, with the first one being the wall safe, similar to the wall safe at the agency, except the money that gets deposited into this wall safe depends on how popular your nightclub is. If the nightclub is at maximum popularity, $50,000 will be deposited into the wall safe every in-game day or 48 minutes. But as that popularity slowly goes down, so does the amount of money that will be deposited into the wall safe. There are a few ways to maintain popularity in the nightclub. You can first hire new DJs or switch between DJs. Each time it will cost you a certain amount of money and they will increase the popularity by a set amount. You can also do nightclub popularity missions, which I highly suggest you not doing. They're just a waste of time. Or you can go into the nightclub and get rid of disturbances or help out some VIP clients. Each time you do it, you will earn some money as well as nightclub popularity. If you want the easiest way to do it, I suggest just going in and switching between DJs, 
But if you do happen to go into passive mode, exit your nightclub and enter back in, you will almost always be guaranteed an incident where you throw out a troublemaker. This is the easiest way to gain popularity. It's a bit of a glitch. If you want to use it, go for it. If not, I'd suggest switching DJs. So that's the first way to make money. The second way to make money with the nightclub is through the underground warehouse. And this is where it gets more complicated. In the warehouse, there are seven different types of goods that can be sourced, which we can later on sell for a profit. Now, in order to source the product, you will have to hire and assign a technician to it. But here's where the catch comes in. In order to assign a technician to a specific kind of product, to source, you will have to own a corresponding business in the game. So with that being said, here are the five products you'll want to assign a technician to and the businesses you'll have to own in order to do so. First is cargo and shipments. You'll need a CEO cargo crate warehouse or a hangar. Second is sporting goods. You'll need a bunker for that. Third is South American imports, which you'll need a Coca-Cola lockup for. Fourth is pharmaceutical research, which you will need a blue stuff lab for. And fifth is cash creation, which you'll need a counterfeit cash factory for. If you assign those five technicians to those five specific products, you will get $50,000 of new product in your warehouse every single hour. Now, in order to realize that money, you will have to do a final sale mission similar to the acid lab, but it's a simple one because you're always guaranteed one sell vehicle. But of course, as you could tell, in order to run this part of the nightclub at full efficiency, you do need to own a bunch of businesses in game. So this half is something I'd suggest you work towards in the future, while the nightclub safe is something you could start working on right away. And with that being said, these are the five businesses that I think every beginner should have. The Kasaka Submarine, the agency, and the auto shop contract are all active ways to make money in the game, while the Acid Lab and the Nightclub are your passive income sources. Once you have these five pillars, it's easy to buy whatever business you need or want in the game, as well as all the luxuries like cars, houses, clothes, and anything else your heart desires. Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope this guide helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.